It's time to go and be friendly with everybody. Howdy, crew! Let's go talk to our thief here. Our drug dealer. No, he's I'm our thief. I'm not into pushy girls. Do me a favor. Bother someone else. <laughs> Don't worry. It's all good. Jake knew you broke into the drug depot. He was blackmailing you, wasn't he? Yeah, he found out I stole the steroids and threatened to turn me over to the cops. Would have meant the end of my football career if I didn't cooperate. So you are a bad, bad person. What did he want from you? You name it. Chauffeur, errand boy, bodyguard. He loved ordering me around like I was his slave. Errand boy? The last thing Jake had me do was deliver a note to Daryl Gray. It was in a sealed envelope so I couldn't read it. My bet is Jake was blackmailing Daryl too. Bye. I'm out of here. Jake was- I've told you what I know. Listen, my body's my temple. I can't risk it for anyone. Bye. Bye, Nancy. But you're okay putting- I've told you what I know. Listen, <laughs> my body's my temple. I can't risk it for anyone. Bye. I'm out of here. You're out of here. All right. Straight to prison. Ugh. Let's go talk to the other two criminals. Well, I mean, honestly, Connie pretended to be a... It, like, I guess, a competitor in a judo competition. I, I mean, I'm not sure if that's a me like a mega crime, but... Maybe a little unethical, but... What is it you want now? I know you're the unknown winner of that judo competition. Jake Rogers had it all on videotape. Yes, Nancy. I'm the mysterious winner of the men's tournament. It wasn't easy for me, and I'm proud of what I did. Why did you enter a men's tournament when you could have easily won the women's division? The prize money is a lot better in the men's division. It was enough to cover the tuition for college next year. Hey, I'll do whatever it takes to reach my goal. Now I'm going to be the first one in my family to go to college. Yay! I mean, I admire the... the balls, if you will. Could you have hated Jake enough to kill him? Do you think I would give up everything I've worked for and do a stupid thing like that? Jake treated me really badly, but I'd never kill him. You can turn me in if you want to. I'm telling the truth. Goodbye. Yeah, I'm I, here, Nancy. like I said, it may be a little unethical, but honestly not what I would consider a crime. It's like plagiarizing an essay, like, you know, stealing drugs, selling drugs, maybe, but. Oh, it's you, Nancy. I'm really embarrassed to see you again. Okay, so we already know he's- Talk to you later. Farewell, Nancy. He's already confessed, so I guess there's really not much else to say here. Uh, let's make a quick phone call here. Cause we did see a phone number on the matchbooks. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what's cooking here. Five, five, five! You have reached Vandalay Pharmaceuticals Drug Depot. Due to unforeseen depletions of our drug supplies, we are temporarily closed. Unforeseen? Okay, so that number was in the matchbook for Maxine's Diner. Ooh. Yeah, so I don't think blackmail. I mean, I, I guess in theory it could be. I'm, strong enough motive, but depends on what you're being blackmailed for. Plagiarizing essay? Probably not enough. Certainly pretending to be a man in a judo competition is not enough. Something else must be, uh... Oh, can I help my number one detective? I saw Jake's tape, Daryl. I know he was blackmailing you. You got me there, detective. But it didn't have to be like this. I wish we had met under different circumstances. What were you selling? Drugs? Trade secrets? I didn't know what I was getting into. This guy, Mitch Dillon, 
offered me a way to make some fast money. I needed the cash for school next year. So I went for it. All I had to do was pick up a package at the pharmaceutical company. But then Mitch threatened me. So you were a drug runner? Oh, Daryl. But how did Jake find out? I don't know. But Jake was always getting into someone's business. Maybe he overheard a conversation between me and Mitch. All I know is one day Jake stuck a videotape in my face and told me he had enough to put me away unless I paid him off. I had no choice but to cooperate. I guess he decided he could get more money out of Mitch. That was a big mistake. Mitch was in a different league than Jake. Mitch killed Jake, didn't he? Mitch is totally capable of it. We need to get more evidence on Mitch Dillon. If only we can get him to confess his involvement with Jake's murder somehow. I care about you, Nancy, and wish you weren't involved in this mess. But if you insist, I'll help you catch Mitch. I have to deliver more food to the pharmaceutical plant later. We can try and grab Mitch when I give him the package tonight. Tonight? It's a date. See you later. Bye, Nancy. Hey, I'm there for you, sweetheart. I don't care what happens to me. I just want to help. Ugh, ew, icky. <laughs> okay, it looks like we're going to the pharmacy. And uh, let me go ahead and do this real quick. Is it night yet? Okay, so this is definitely what was on the cassette here. Clothes for inventory. Uh, so I guess it's technically not tonight yet. Is that kind of the deal? Still open. So we gotta like do something to make time pass here, okay. Let's listen to some tunes on the jukebox, baby. I'm not sure if this will help me, but we're gonna try it anyways. Hey Nancy, need something? Connie, we're going to find the person who killed Jake. If you help out now, the case will move a lot quicker. I, I wish I could, Nancy. I can't take that kind of risk right now. Not with college, just around the corner. If I get involved, the truth about the tournament would be exposed. I'll never go to college if that happens. Daryl's life is in danger. He really needs your help. This is starting to get really intense. I don't want to get involved, even if it means I would get the chance to help Daryl. Yeah, but I thought Daryl was like that sweet politician handsome, you know? With that fake money and shwarm. Shwarm? Shwarmy? I don't know. Let's see if bro here will help out. Oh, it's you, Nancy. I'm really embarrassed to see you again. <laughs> there you go. Hal, we're going to find the person who killed Jake. If you help out now, this case will move a lot quicker. My future is at stake. I have to make the grades, or my family won't continue to pay for my education. I must go now. So he's not gonna help us. I mean, do I really blame them? Oh, I just realized I can use the arrow buttons on this thing. Oh my god, I'm looking up, I'm looking down. <laughs> the first time I actually touched the arrow buttons on this. Oh, that would... <laughs> oh, but how do you go forward, though? Anyways. I've told you what I know. Listen, my body's my temple. I can't risk it for anyone. Hulk, we're going to find the person who killed Jake. If you help out now, this case will move a lot quicker. Sorry, babe. I can't risk getting involved. Sorry, babe. You. Fighting manatees. Wrestling. Wow. No one's gonna help dear old Jake. It's a little quicker to spin around, but... Uh... So that's the library. Okay, here we go.
I swear to heaven, <laughs> to the God, the old and the new. <laughs> oh, now it's feeling a little dark in here. Back in 10 minutes. Seriously? and it is dark and we can see that the school is closed the diner is saying hey back in 10 minutes and it looks like aunt louise eloise's house is shut too so all right back to the battle with mitch and connie kicking ass I had the gun. Dear Dad, case closed and Mitch is on his way to prison. Daryl's recovering just fine and Connie's giving him private judo lessons. Hulk agreed to pay for the damages to the pharmacy and Hal got his scholarship. Today, Aunt Eloise got a letter from a friend. Something about a television station and death threats. Sounds like another case for Nancy Drew. Don't worry, I'll be careful. Love, Nancy. Hooray! We have completed the absolute first Nancy Drew number one. Old school. I'm your Gibbs. And we're going to be doing more. We're going to go back and we're going to complete the original six. Stick around and uh, let's have some fun together.